Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Precision GS1 and GS2 coffee grinder. Now the GS1 and GS2 are popular designs of the ideal compact coffee grinder used throughout the world in small cafes and within the home to freshly grind your coffee for any style of coffee brewing. Notably for filter and drip brewing, such as the case with the GS1, whereas the GS2 is more suited towards espresso brewing. Now each of these grinders only weighs three and a half kilograms with hoppers that can hold up to 250 grams of beans. To operate the grinders, there's a switch at the back that allows the user two options to either manually activate the grinder on and off as you choose, or use an automatic push start button found underneath the grind chute. So by following this link up above, you can shop the GS1 and GS2, as well as the full range of other grinders found underneath the Precision badge. But let's dive in now and see how the GS1 and GS2 coffee grinders do perform. Each of the grinders has 10 stepped grind settings you can choose from, with the grind dial going from zero up to five, and there being half steps in between each number. Below this, you'll find a stainless steel grinds catcher bin that holds around 150 grams of beans, and each of these comes with their own lid. So it goes without saying that everything between these two grinders is identical, as they are practically the same model. Everything including the 150 watt single geared motor, all except the burrs used. The GS2 uses 60 millimeter flat burrs, which are great for producing a very concentrated grind distribution. And in ideal conditions, you can expect results of a very sweet and clean tasting espresso shot. The GS1 grinder, however, has adopted what's known as ghost burrs. These unusual looking burrs have what appears to look like slanted teeth dotted across the entire face of the burr set. And it's in the way the beans are ground, or you could say almost gritted between these teeth, that creates a surprisingly uniform looking particle size. With a large portion of grinds being one size, and then a small percentage being powder, with not much difference in between. Now this powder, or fines as they're known, can be detrimental to the cleanliness of your cup of coffee, but it does also depend on how you're brewing it and with what filters. But the GS1 does come with a fine sifter that sits within the grinds cup. Using this effectively, you can remove a good portion of those fines out of the end grinds and then achieve a good result in the cup. So the GS1 would not be my choice for an espresso grinder, but does make a great option for grinding everything else. And the GS1 is able to be a filter grinder that can grind for mocha pot, aeropress, manual and automatic pour overs, as well as French press and cold brewing, and performs best at that medium grind range for drip brewing. So the GS2 on the other hand, does perform slightly better in consistency compared to the GS1 and makes for a great espresso grinder for that reason. I would go so far as to say the GS2 could also be used as a filter grinder too, as key to unlocking the potential to either of these two grinders does lie within the ability to be able to calibrate the grind settings to your preferred ranges. So you can manually adjust the minimum and maximum range of the grinder's adjustment mechanism. Say if you were dialing in your espresso and you didn't find that right setting initially, you can overcome this by removing that adjustment dial and then turning that calibration wheel left or right. So coarser or finer again, just be sure you don't let those burrs touch and you should then find a grind setting that works for you. And further observations of the grinds retention was found to be fairly minimal, around two to three grams per grinder initially, and then that resolves itself to around half to one full gram after that, with the occasional surprise of an extra gram in your dose every so often. Now, the ghost burrs on the GS1 do take a little bit longer to grind through a full dose, and there was some popcorning of the beans in the hopper too. Also some noticeable cleanup every time I did grind on the GS1 due to some static, which is avoidable, and there is a clump crusher though on each of these grinders that helps this not get out of hand. So it was mostly those finer particles avoiding the grinds bin, which is oddly what I would prefer anyway. Now cleaning these grinders is a breeze, but you do want to ensure that it is completely turned off and unplugged as there are no safety auto off features on these grinders. But removing the front face plate requires no tools to access the burrs. And then by just giving everything a quick brush and vacuum out, placing it all back together, you're gonna to be keeping this grinder free of any fines, dust or old coffee building up. 
and that's the GS1 and GS2 precision coffee grinders for you. For their size and power, the precision grinders do a great job in maximizing space, providing reliable coffee grinding solutions and brewing good coffee. So if you have any questions on either of these two grinders, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.